Hi. I'm Terrell. And uh, that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about today. Not that I'm specifically Terrell. I mean, I am. But I'm also a lot of other things. So what I wanted to talk to you today about is identity. The idea, the I, the idea of the I in identity. What is the I? And I noticed that a bunch of people that I sort of hang around on Twitter, um, other places too, have been talking about identity in a sort of negative way. And one of the people who I talk to sometimes, Cosimia, the lovely Emily, um, she called it a straitjacket, a self-imposed straitjacket. And James Vaughn, another Twitter person, um, called it a fiction, if you will. And I thought I'd talk a little bit about how we can see identity in a broader perspective to sort of better understand it and better understand how we use the idea. Now, as you may know, I tend to love Pascal's triangle as far as categorizing things. I think it's a universal way of describing everything. Um, it isn't necessarily the, the structure of the universe per se, but it is a way of describing the structure of the universe, or describing anything for that matter, any kind of system, uh, any natural system in the real world. So what I say is that you can describe anything in any number of different categories, a uh, number of categories. Uh, so you can start with unity. You can start with everything, the all, the, the be all end all universe, the single story, the single verse, universe of reality. And that's one thing. There's just one of them. But the whole of reality, all of it together is one thing. And then we can start separating that into two different things. Uh, I tend to call it matter and energy, or stability and change, or contraction and expansion. Um, and then we can divide those two things into three different things by dividing up those two things into two halves, and then combining them uh, with the different halves in the middle. So it's, it's sort of complicated, but um, it makes sense if you actually do it with a bunch of stuff. Uh, the very first time I discovered this, I realized I was I was uh, taking apart rocks, a pile of rocks, and uh, sorting them into different colors, like the dark ones and the light ones, and then the middle ones kind of combined together. So anyway, so you get three things, which are different combinations than you had of the two things, and then you can get four things from divided up into four things, and just like you can measure distance with a light year, uh, a mile or a kilometer, or something smaller like feet and meters, or something even smaller like centimeters and inches, something even smaller like millimeters and sixteenths of an inch, and even smaller or micrometers and micro-inches, <laughs> I don't know, but um, you, can, you can separate things, you can, you can uh, measure things in any number of segments. So what does this have to do with identity? Well, you can measure identity in any number of segments. You can measure identity as in, like I said, the universe is a single identity. That is one thing. We are all one thing. We are a unity. But that's kind of boring. That doesn't get us anywhere, generally. So we start segregating things into smaller sections and separating things into categories and identity. So we can have multiple identities at the same time. And if you think it is self-imposed, that's only because you've decided to do so. I think most identities are multiply imposed. I think they're both, ex uh, they're a combination of the external reality, sort of measuring you and judging you and separating you from other things and combining you with other other things. And then you sort of taking that in and saying, okay, I accept that, you know, that's a useful identity for me.
but it's not the only identity, obviously. For example, you may have been wondering why I was holding these two strange objects. These are wonderful objects. Uh, they're magical. They are the same, but different. They have the same identity. This is a bumpy ball which lights up. Sadly, it is too bright out for you to see the lighting, but it does light up. It's very exciting. Uh, so this is a single bumpy ball that lights up. What everyone would call it. I don't even think it has it. But this is another single ball, bumpy ball, that lights up. So their identities are the same, but obviously they are unique. Because if they weren't unique, I could not to juggle them. That they each have a different path, but they take similar paths. They're both balls being juggled. They're both bumpy balls with lights that are being juggled. They're the same identity, but they're different. Now, they're very different. They've gone two very different directions. So they have different identities, but they have the same identity. So, to all of those who think that their self-imposed straitjacket identities aren't ones that they appreciate, aren't ones that work well for them, just change it. Just connect to something else, see something else in the world that you are like, and then identify yourself with that. I like trees. I identify myself with trees because they are beautiful and they're alive and they're giving the giving tree, like the giving tree by Shel Silverstein. I identify myself as being life like a tree. I don't necessarily identify myself as being life like a uh, mosquito that might be biting. I mean, it's still life. It's still in the same identity class. But it's not an identity that I choose to identify with. <laughs> so it's okay. It's up to you. You are free to choose whatever identity works well for you. Why would you choose an identity that doesn't work well for you? I mean, if you want to choose an identity of someone who's struggling, for example, um, as someone who needs to get something in order to flourish, that's fine. I mean, that's still a negative, but it's a positive negative. It's, it's looking at the identity from a, a growth perspective. So you can measure things in the universe, any identity, you can measure in any way you want. There is no restriction. You can measure yourself as a unity. You are everything. You are a part of reality. We are all one. Or you can start separating it into multiple categories, as many categories as you want. Because your identity is self-imposed, yes, but self-imposed for your own purpose. Why did you choose this identity? If you do not like it, then let it go. Or just select more other identities that do work well. Maybe you have an identity that is negative and that isn't quite growth focused, but that's okay. You can just leave it there. My identity as a as a depressive person, um, personally, I think of that as a positive thing because I see that I am someone who is extra sensitive to certain physical needs. I need a little bit more nourishment from the universe. Um, because of my genetic programming, that I need a little more of some things than other people do, or at least specific some things. I can do less well with whatever is available. I need more specific, positive things. So that's kind of a negative definition, but I'm seeing it in a positive light. But even if you don't see it in a positive light, even if, you, even if you've taken on the identity that someone else has given you of being a loser, or being a dumb, or whatever. You can accept that identity and say, well, that's the identity that, that I adopted, that I was given, and okay. But I have all of these other identities too. Whereas, for example, um, you could be 
a, a very kind and generous person. You could still have your negative, non-growing identities, but you can also have the positive growing ones. So choose your identities however you want to. Whatever your identity is, is fluid, is changeable, is your decision. Combined with what the universe lets you know that you are. I mean, we get some feedback from the universe about more neutral things, like I have a body, I have hair, I have eyes. Those parts of my identity are things that the universe tells me I have. I didn't name these things, but there are things that I'm pretty sure of. So I can accept those identities, human, from the universe. I'm not a squirrel. I'm not a mosquito. I'm not a tree. I'm not a flower. I am a human as far as I know. I accept that from the universe giving me that identity. It's okay. I love that. But your identity is your choice. Choose whatever identities you want to focus on. That's all. It's easy. Categorize however you want the universe to categorize. Starting from a unity to a duality of matter and energy. I'm mostly matter, but I'm also some energy. So maybe I'm matter energy, or energy matter, or matter, matter, energy, matter, 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 energy, 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 matter. Any identity that works well for you is your identity. That's all, okay? I'll leave you with that, and I'm going to carefully climb down and say, Namaste.